But then the stuff that's maybe really important in life doesn't always necessarily scream at us. Like taking the time to cook well or exercise or stay in touch with friends. You know, those are things that are the most important, but they don't make the most noise. And so they don't necessarily have our attention as much as they should. Hey, good morning, how are you? The morning walk and today we're a little bit north of Perth, a few hundred kilometers. This is the town of Lehman. Honestly, there's not much to see in Lehman. But this whole bit of coastline is pretty spectacular. I'm gonna show you a little bit of that as we, uh, we go for a wander and have a chat because it's a beautiful day. Let's go for a walk. Well, we're back on the road now, as of about a week ago. Started off over on Rottnest Island, which is a beautiful place. I must admit, people have been telling me how good Rottnest was, but I hadn't been there, and it's amazing. So make sure I'll drop in a bit of footage here for you. And then since then, we've been heading north. First stop was a place called The Pinnacles, which, you know, one of those places I'd heard about my entire life, but couldn't imagine just how much better the reality was when I actually got there. You know, the way that the light comes up onto these monolithic structures is like almost fingers in the sand, if you know what I mean, like these huge towers of rock all scattered across the desert. And the sunrise there was utterly extraordinary. Oh, speaking of sunrises. It's not bad. Back to the pinnacles. <laughs> pinnacles were pretty beautiful at sunset too. So we had this great game of hide and seek as a family running and hiding behind the various various pinnacles. And then uh whoa what watch your what you step there. Oh god. This is really kind of crumbly rock isn't it? And then we've come here. This is Lehman but the only reason we actually came to stay here was because we couldn't get a caravan park anywhere else. <laughs> There are some spectacular places to come and see here. And I'm sure right now you're saying, yeah, come on, Rob. Life's not too tough for you in Lehman, is it? It's pretty beautiful, isn't it? The real gold in this part of the world isn't Lehman. It's, um, it's other places around here. We went to an amazing place yesterday called Stockyard, Stockyard Gully. <laughs> it's like this cave where you go into the cave about 300 meters long on this creek. The European cattle runners, the European rovers, the people that used to move cattle around the countryside, would pull into Stockyard Gully and put their stock, their, their cows, their sheep, inside the cave overnight just to kind of keep them safe and stop them from wandering off, which I thought was a pretty, pretty clever way of not having to do as much work in the morning. But now you can walk through it, and we, we saw these like couple of owls up there, this little side passage to explore. It was really, really neat. I'd also gotten up and gone a morning run at a place called Le Sueur National Park, which sounds all fancy fancy, but actually in French it means the sweat. Maybe that's appropriate when you're going running, the sweat. The Sweat National Park. <laughs> that was pretty nice. It's supposed to be one of the places in this part of the world where you go out get amazing wildflowers, but uh, it just wasn't the right time of year, so there was none. And then yesterday, Dynamite Bay. Oh, yeah, Dynamite Bay. Dynamite Bay is absolutely spectacular for sunset. Just a lovely bay, calm waters, great for swimming. Oh, so it's been awesome. And today we're heading north again. You're going to hear me say that a lot in the next few episodes. North, north, north. <laughs> we're going up to a place called Calbarry, where there's supposed to be a spectacular national park. But we've got some walking to do before that, so let's get going. Stop slacking. One of the things that uh, thinking about the other day was just how busy you know we were before heading off on this trip because you no know, life is busy once you're working full time and you know, if you've got kids and stuff like that then it's to be even more busy. I know it's like we don't plan for it to be that way. Once you get out on a trip like this you suddenly realise just how chilled out it can be if we choose to make it like that. It started to be 
thinking about you know, the decision making process to actually get to that point where we uh, went from being like normal life to crazy busy life <laughs> because I don't think it was conscious at the time it certainly will be conscious if we do that again but for now it kind of wasn't and I think if I go backwards you know it's when we started our business aim overseas that things kind of started getting really really hectic that's going back yeah 13 14 years and um, obviously when you're running a business things get pretty full on pretty fast you end up working a lot of nights and weekends at least when you're not experienced at it because you don't know any better and you think you have to do everything just as that one started to calm down I suppose maybe about five six years ago we started a second company just because it was not fast enough and it kind of made me think that or realize even that this exquisite balance between being too busy at one end of the spectrum and then like not having enough to do at the other you've got to work out where on that spectrum you're going to be because at one end you've got so much stuff going on like that rubber band is just stretched and stretched and stretched and and it can not be that much fun and then at the other end well you're kind of bored you've got to find the middle ground <laughs> which is always easier said than done. Most often in life, the things that scream at us most loudly that get our attention. And that goes for everything, right? So if we're at work, we got a lot of emails. Like that work is like screaming at us all the time. So it feels the most pressing. And like we should be doing more of that or a good Netflix series. <laughs> that screams at you too. And if that's you, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> when we close down, our business, the $6 million profitable, successful 13 year old business. We actually sat down and did this exercise like on a whiteboard to draw up what life, you know, our ideal life would, would actually look like. And one of the things we put on there was the fact that we'd like to only work four days a week. You know, personally, I don't, I, I love to work. I could work all the time. Says Rob, who's now here talking about <laughs> a balance in life. I do love to work though, it's good fun. When you're achieving lots of different stuff. But, but we decided that for us, like what we really wanted was to have four days where we would work. And those four days, you know, go all in, work 10 hour days, 20 hour, 15 hour days, whatever. But then have those three full days off, completely disconnected. So that you can do the sport and stay in touch with people and have time as a couple and spend time with your kids and do the shopping and clean the house and all the other shit that you need to do in life. And it's been liberating to be honest because as we've thought about what we want to do next, we've kind of used that as a framework. And that framework has eliminated a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of things that we, um, we may have otherwise considered, but we're not going to do because they don't meet one of those goals that we had on, on the whiteboard. Because one thing's for sure, if you don't aim for your ideal life or lifestyle, you ain't going to get there. Well, there you go. I've saved you the effort of coming to Lehman to see the town centre. Though there is probably one good reason to come here other than the caravan park if you can't get in anywhere else. And that seems to be that the fishing here is great. I know every second car in this place seems to be towing a boat. So I'm not a fisherman, but if you are a fisherman, Lehman might be the place to come and visit. Anyway, beautiful day. That's whatever you're getting up to, it's a good one. Say hey, day down below in the comments. Love to hear from you if you're a new friend or an old friend. Love to hear about how you are. Take care, and I'll see you next time on the morning walk.